One of the interesting things that happens in schools that, that have a long history is that they often develop kind of jargon or code words that are unique to their environment. Do you have examples of that, things that, that would be like really great if, if others would take them on? Oh, so it, it's funny because we were having this kind of conversation the other day where a lot of our words, that, that the jargon or the, the words that we used very early on and as we have been evolving are now being used in more mainstream kinds of environments as well. Uh, so we're <laughs> like, oh, we need to find some new keywords. Um, <laughs> not necessarily because it's mainstream, but because um, it's sort of lost its significance a mm. little bit, I suppose. So we kind of identify with progressive. Mm. In the more recent years, we identify um, hugely with democratic. Mm -hmm. We have a huge uh, focus on social emotional development and that comes across in our conflict resolution skills. So from the, the, the very first day that children arrive at Karambina, their families, their community, their, their classrooms, I guess, have constant skills in conflict resolution and what that might look like emotionally, the language that we use. So that's huge too, that conflict resolution sort of side of things. Mm, I think fostering responsibility, independence, creative thinking, um, empowerment yeah empowerment so and you know giving them the foundation of of language and a, a, a strong and varied word bank around emotion and learning for life we yeah. use that a lot because it's just so very very true mm. Mm -hmm. this is the agentic schools podcast where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.